really good to um, practice together, even in the virtual space. We've got Instagram Live also for our hour and a half yoga class. I guess Instagram Live poops out after an hour. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But here on Zoom, we can practice the whole practice together. This will be like we used to do a long time ago on Saturdays, the Saturday Nosara Vinyasa class. So it's a flow where we begin with some breathing and check-in and slow self-awakening yoga movements into a flow and then into some pranayama that we'll end with and then a wonderful shavasana. So to begin, to begin, let's all get ourselves comfortably seated. Throughout this practice, you can modify as much as you want. You're at home and you're in your living room or wherever you may be and the practice is your own. So I'll guide you like I always have, and then you can adapt as much as you would like in any way, shape, or form. Just continue to pay attention to the sensations in your body, your breath, and what your body's needing and wanting. Typically at the start of the new year, uh, it's helpful to build some heat, do a little detox, do a little cleansing, with our practice, so we'll probably reach a point like that. And I don't know about you, but for me, it feels like this is a big moment. This is a big moment, welcoming in 2021 and integrating all that 2020 was. So again, let's just begin. So we'll find a comfortable position and Allow the eyes to close. As you close your eyes, you might adjust your body posture a little bit. Straightening the spine, adjusting through the hips, moving the shoulders back. We'll begin by presencing ourselves through focusing on breath. Breath is through the nose. And as we start, you don't have to do anything with the breath or change it. I want you to simply notice it. Feel the breath as it comes in through the nose to the back of the throat, the movement in the chest or the abdomen. As you exhale, the same thing, the movement in the body, the breath in the throat and the nose. Focusing the mind right here with your breath. And then with awareness of the breath, let that take you to awareness of your body. Your attention wanders through the body, noticing any sensations that are present right now. Tingling, streaming, pulsing, warmth. Your clothing the air on your skin, anything that you can feel physically. Good, and notice too in the body where you have those spots that feel blank or numb. There's no sensation or awareness right now. And include those. And we include in our awareness the areas that feel a little tender, sore, that 
need extra healing in this moment. So whole physical self-awareness from the soles of your feet to the crown of the head, the back of the body, the front of the body, the right side and the left side. Breath. you're feeling your emotional state. So shift your awareness a degree and observe how you feel right now. Emotionally, what are the top three emotions right now for you? Give them a name if you can. Go another degree further and become aware of our mind, what the images in our mind are, or the voices in our head, where our attention is being drawn to, or what we are giving our attention to. Become aware of that. and the quality of the thinking mind. Do you have the thoughts you're thinking and the way that you're thinking also? Can you notice that? Good. And then the container for all of that is your witness consciousness. So it's what is aware of your mind and your emotions and your body and your breath, the part of you that is seeing these different aspects of self. Attune to that state within you, that level of attention. And we start with this witness consciousness space, holding our mind and our emotions and our body with unconditional acceptance. Noticing the layers of self that we might sometimes think are in conflict, but in reality, they're just existing with each other. And that's okay as humans in this really dynamic living experience, constantly changing. We can contain opposites. Indeed, we do contain opposites all of the time. Reflecting back on your experiences of 2020, you can see the opposites moments of great grief and all the moments of great gratitude. Take a moment and reflect on your past year, the highs and the lows, the losses and the gains, the unexpected joys, unexpected sorrows. And have a feeling of yourself of um, recognizing your own courage and recognizing your own grace within it all, how you walked through this past year. It might not have always been perfectly graceful, but still, you had a lot of grace. You had a lot of composure. 
you expanded your ability to be quite flexible and fluid. You expanded your compassion for self and for others. You dug into your shadow with awareness and integrity and a desire to grow and you've grown so much. Here you are on the precipice of a new year, 2021. 2021, where you will continue to learn so much more about yourself. You'll continue to grow in unexpected ways. On this precipice, just hold for yourself in, in the energy of possibility, of new beginnings. Possibility, the edge of possibility is full of energy and is full of potential, is full of creativity. So there's all this creative energy available to you right now in this moment. And there's nothing that you need to do with it. You don't have to know the final outcome, but allow yourself to feel charged up with it. Maybe you don't right now, but at the end of your, our practice together, you'll feel a little more charged for sure. So if you have any particular intentions, hopes, desires, dreams, affirmations for the coming year, hear those words, hear those intentions reverberate through you now like a prayer. What are you asking for? What are you calling in? If you don't know explicitly right now, that's okay. Hold space for yourself through our practice for that to be revealed as we move through different layers of self. Tune back into your breath. And now we'll begin to make our breath longer and stronger and deeper, fuller. All of you yogis that have practiced with me for years, you know your Dirga Pranayama, your three-part breath, breathing into the abdomen and the chest. And exhaling through the chest and the middle of the lungs and the abdomen, the breath presses out all the way, emptying, 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 2020, inhaling in, possibility, breathing to the bottom of the lungs, middle of the lungs, filling up to the top, into the throat, expanding the lungs to the sides and the back and the front, and exhaling compressing the lungs in as you release the breath out fully. Create your own rhythmic wave of breath. Your ujjayi pranayama can help you as well. All the moments that you take your mind to your breath, you're bringing yourself back to the present. And when you're in this present moment, your worries fall away, your anxieties fall away, fear falls away, tension falls away. We feel lighter and there's a greater sense of ease and space. One of my main intentions for 2021 is spacious abundance. That's what keeps coming to me. This idea of possibility, openness. After having stepped off the hamster wheel in 2020, I'm very resistant and reluctant to get back on a mindless journey. So the spaciousness is this 
ability to be a choice and to see what's before me and around me and make all of my decisions with as much awareness, present moment awareness as possible. And every time I come into the present moment, I feel spacious abundance. Let's mark the beginning of our practice together with the sound of Aum. We'll start with an exhalation. An inhale. Let yourself blink your eyes open. If you're sitting, come so that you're seated cross-legged, if you're not already. Let's have left foot in front of right, so we'll all be together the same, in hands on knees. I'm moving a bit to just kind of get some um, prana in my side body and in my spine, so you might move too. I do all kinds of um, unconscious physical jostling as I practice, and you're able and invited to do that too. It's kind of just like, how does your body want to move? That's always our guidance, right? But starting with hands on knees and tall spine, inhale, pull, chest forward, chin lifts. Leaning forward, going as low as it feels comfortable for you. Hold. There's still an arch in the upper back if you can keep it there. And then as you exhale now, chin towards the chest, start to round through the upper back. Rock back into the sits bones. The knees will lift. Arms are straight, pulling back. To feel the stretch through the upper back, holding here like a seated cat. We inhale and come forward like a seated cow and open through the chest. Lift the chin, lean forward, pressing knees with hands. Hold. Inhale again and exhale, chin to chest and round back. Hold. Inhale and pull forward and straight up tall. Good. And then we'll release our hands from our knees, float the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers together, palms to the sky, straight arms. Hands move back. Deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Slow movements to warm the body. Let's take a breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze in through the abdomen. Press the breath out. Turn to your left. When you get as far as you can to the left, release the hands. Right hand will come to the left knee. Left hand will come behind you. And you'll turn even more and look over the left shoulder. And then we hold the twist and continue to breathe. As you're holding and when you exhale, twist even further. We'll inhale and turn forward, float the arms back up as we come forward again. Let the fingers interlace. We go the non-habitual way so your opposite thumb is on top. Hold through center. Your left foot's in front. See, without using your hands, you can move the right foot forward and the left foot tuck it in. 
So now my right foot is in front of my left. Hold, stretch, arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, squeeze the belly, turn to the right. Turn, turn, turn. And then float the hands down, left hand to the right knee. Thigh, right hand behind you, turn and twist, pull. Inhale and we release. We'll bring our arms back up again. This time just have the arms, the hands facing in, palms in, hands in line with shoulders. Reach up, reach through the ribs, reach through the waist, tall through the spine. Drop the shoulders, keep the arms up. Exhale, left hand to the ground. Right hand will come to the left ear and you'll crawl your fingers to the left. Leaning over to the left, right elbow up in the air. Press into the left hand to anchor the right hip down. And you're rolling the right elbow up and back. See if you can feel like you're holding all of the weight of your head and your hands, right hand. Left shoulder relaxes too. You might bend the left elbow. Inhale, rise back up to center. This time, crawl the left fingers in and let the right hand just float to the ground. We'll sit here in center for a moment, taking a breath, feeling sensations in the body, what's happening along the right side of your body. Inhale. We'll take the left arm and inhale it out and up as the right arm crawls away, holding your right ear with the left hand, left elbow up and back, press into right hand, bend the right elbow a bit as the right shoulder drops, keep the left hip towards the ground, eyes are open or closed, long steady breath. Soft jaw. These movements we're doing, these poses, when they get into these spaces of energetic release, I'm thinking of it as releasing the past, releasing fears, worries, anxieties, tensions that are still holding on, energy that wants to go. We begin to clear ourselves for the new beginning that 2021 is. Have a deep breath. Inhale, and we'll come up slow. Walk your right fingers in. Float the left hand down, exhaling. Let's bring our hands to our knees. Again, palms can be up or down. We'll feel again in the body. What do you notice? My favorite moments and postures are when I come out of them and I am still and I can really feel prana shifting in my body. Let's open the eyes, good you guys, and then just grab hold of your ankles, bring the soles of your feet together. You can pull the heels in close towards you as you walk your sits bones up, or if you prefer right now this morning to have your feet away from you, you can, and we'll fold down either into your butterfly, the feet are in, or you're making more of a diamond shape with your thighs. 
And this can be a pretty passive stretch, like a yin stretch. If you want to lean into a block or a bolster, you can. You can also bend the elbows and hold your chin or your head in your hands. We'll be here for about a minute. Practicing with awareness of what's happening in your body right now. Slow, full, deep, three-part breaths. When you exhale, you soften more forward, down, or in the shoulders, or across the face, somewhere from your knees, somewhere in your body, you can open a bit more. Two more breaths. As you come up, we use our hands. Push into the hands, inhale, lift up. We'll take that moment and pause again when we get tall and just feel and receive. Good, blink the eyes open, hands behind you, feet to the ground, knees in the air, my hands, you might not be able to see them, my fingers are pointed in towards my body. Shoulders, roll them back, a little bend in the elbows, push into your heels and your hands and lift the hips, reverse table. You can keep your chin towards your chest or drop your head back. Exhale, hips back to the ground. Good. Lift the feet, cross the ankles, roll over the shins, into the hands and knees. Here we are, tabletop, and we'll lift into our downward facing dog, downward dog number one, and begin to pedal your feet. One knee bends, the other leg straightens. You guys know it. And in any other movements that want to happen in your body too, right and left, shaking the head, child's pose is your friend. You can enjoy it at any point in the practice, lying in Shavasana at any point in the practice is also good. But we're going to move into our more um, young flow. There'll be some heat. So. Let's inhale, lift our heels and exhale, bend our knees, push into the hands, hold this crouching pose for a moment. Your shins are about parallel to your mat, to the ground. Walk hands to feet, come to a forward fold at the back of the mat as you straighten the legs. Let's inhale and straighten the spine. Look out halfway-ish and exhale and fold down. Long in the neck. Sway right and left or a little bounces or both together. Stay focused on your breath. Hmm. When we come to center, even weight in both of the feet, we'll inhale a little bend in the knees and we'll exhale, push into the feet and scroll up, drag the fingers along the front line of the body. Even when you get to standing, drag the fingers up, reaching, extending hands to the sky, extended mountain, palms will come together. 
be able to look at an even weight in the feet, heels, balls of the feet, arms by the ears, soft in the face, jaw, chin pulls in, back of the head lifts up, core engaged. In this moment, you're like a divining rod, a bridge between the earth, between the heavens, between form and formless, known and unknown, what is and has been and what's to come, what will be. Feel yourself as this bridge. And we'll exhale and float the hands down and out. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, roll the hands or the shoulders back. Good. And wiggle out a little bit. We'll step the feet again under the hips and tuck the toes under and come up to the top of the mat. And little toes under, big toe out for the left foot. Heel is high. Left foot releases and the right foot, the little toes are under and the big toe is out. Lean into the toes, lift the heel high. Right foot, your big toe, tuck it under and swing the little toes forward. Keep the heel lifted, lean into the toes. Release, right foot, and then left foot, big toe is under, little toes are forward, lift the heel, lean into the toes. Release the left foot, right foot, all of the toes are out, and the heel lifts, and we lean. Left foot, toes out, heel up, lean, press, breath. Good. Feet down. Before we move, move into a flow, before we move into Tadasana, let's do a breath practice that if you practice with me, we've done it a few times together. It's a seven breath, three part. Seven breath, three part practice where the feet are a little bit wider than the hips. Knees are bent. I'll show you once and then we'll do it together. Inhale, 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 and as we exhale, it's through the mouth and you fold. And then coming up, inhale, 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 exhale. Let's begin together. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, nose, 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 exhale, mouth. Inhale, nose, nose, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Stay hanging down. Flop the arms down, chin towards the chest, Next, neck long. And slowly inhale, peel up. Again, drag the fingertips along the front line of the body, stacking one vertebra at a time. Fingers come up, 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 up. Reaching up, extended mountain. Exhale, arms down and out, palms down like you're pressing against the air as the hands float down. Eyes can close. Rest here, mountain. And feel, feel the soles of the feet. Feel sensations in the body, heartbeat. Streaming, tingling warmth, soft eyes and face, jaw. Crown of the head reaches skyward. Again, you're still the bridge. Feel the front of your body and the back. Rise.
right and left side, presencing. Good, and we'll move into position for our sun salutations. So I'm gonna turn, because I need to, to the front of my mat. If you need to adjust, you can too. And we'll inhale, arms up. Palms together, exhale, hips back, knees can bend, forward fold, release the palms, hands to the earth, fold down, chin in. Inhale, lift, look halfway up. Exhale, right foot to your lunge. Left foot is forward and we're rocking back and forth. Rock back, lift the hips straight, left leg, lift left toes, fold over left leg, fold. Inhale and we'll come forward, left knee over the left toes, point the right toes, right knee can be up or down and you're in your peace fingers and you're lifting, hips are low. Exhale again and rock back. Roll over the right toes, right heel towards the ground. Left toes begin to lift, fold over straight, left leg, breath. Inhale, we come forward again. Left knee over the left toes, point the right toes, lift chest up, heart up. Exhale, come back, tuck the right toes, come into classic lunge, knee over ankle, right knee is lifted. Now we'll exhale and drop the right knee, right hand inside of the left foot, left hand to left thigh, and you're turning and twisting to the left, dropping into the outside edge of the right foot as you push your left thigh away. You might even look back and you can see your right foot back there. I'm on the outer line of my left leg and left foot. My hips are dipping towards the ground too. On my right side. Inhale and begin to turn forward. You'll tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, left hand now inside of the left foot, right heel to the ground, and we just turn open. So right leg is long, right toes are up, left knee is bent, and you can stay holding yourself in your fingers forward and your hands forward, or sit into the left heel, pull in through the core and bring your hands together at the heart, holding here, or any other variation or way of being in this posture. Just a breath or two as we hold. And exhale, release. Hands back down if you lifted them. And we roll around forward, back into our lunge. Left foot is forward, right leg is long back. Left foot, step it back to right. And we're in our plank. And we're holding plank. And if you want to with me, five yoga push-ups. Knees can be up or down or hold plank, or go to child's pose. I'm gonna drop my knees as we start. One, two, three, four, five, and then all the way down. Point the toes, forehead to the mat, hands under shoulders, roll the shoulders back, lift the hands an inch away from the mat, and inhale, lift into a baby cobra. Hold, keep the feet down. Keep length in the neck, so gaze down a little bit more so there's not a kink in the neck. Exhale, lower hands down, forehead down. Tuck the toes, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah, hold, five breaths. You can pedal or sway or lift or move in any way. I'm just gonna hold it steady because that's what I'm feeling right now. Look up 
between the hands, bend the knees, crouch back, lift the heels, and hop up between the hands. Inhale, look up halfway. We'll exhale and fold. Chair, inhale, bend the knees, chest to thighs, squeeze thighs towards each other. Inhale, lift torso, arms, tailbone under. Hold and sit lower. Knees back, hips back, getting down. Get your ski legs on. Sit even lower. And let's inhale, rise up, straighten the legs. Exhale, float the hands down and out, mountain. Eyes closed, feel whole, breathe, receive. What sensations do you notice in your body in this moment? Hmm. Okay, again, inhale, arms out and up. Palms come together, we exhale and fold down. Drop the hands forward, fold, stay here. Feel feet connection to the earth, palm connection to the earth. Long neck, chin in, hips lift. Inhale, look up halfway. And this time, left foot steps back into our lunge. Right foot is forward, right leg is forward. Rock forward and back. Every movement, every moment, like a prayer of awareness, as present and as clear and as right here as possible. You'll begin to notice the judging mind occurs when you're not right here, when you're not just present with what is. Let's straighten the right leg, lift the hips up and back, lift the toes. There's no right or wrong in the postures. Only if it's painful and you're hurting yourself, but if you're not, it really doesn't matter how you look. You can have that as an intention for the new year. No judgment in your postures. That it should be any way than it actually is. Let's inhale, come forward. Roll over the left toes, right knee over the right toes as we get the hips low. Heart up, gaze up. Exhale, come back, walk the hands back, roll over left toes again, straighten right leg, right toes can come up, fold down. The more aware you are of what you're feeling in your body as we move, the more you're attuned to what wants to happen, what's true in this moment, what's alive in this moment, what's real in this moment. Trust it and follow it. Let's inhale, come forward again. Again, we roll over the left toes, pointing them, lift heart. That might not work for you. Two, to point your back toes, and you are good with that. You work with it. Exhale, come back. Classic lunge. So right knee over the right ankle. My left toes are tucked again. Left heel presses out. Drop the left knee to the ground. Left hand inside of right foot, right hand to right thigh. Turn and open the right thigh. Roll into the outside edge of the left foot back there. Open up. The hips can drop towards the mat. Heart is up. Some of you may even want to bend your left knee and hold the left foot.
Exhale, we'll come back around, tuck under the left toes, right hand inside of the right foot. You turn it open to the left, come into the left heel. Hands can stay on the ground in front of you or drop into the right foot and you can lift hands to heart, keep the toes up, breath hold, soft face, release tension. Exhale, bring the hands down. Before we come around into a lunge, push into the hands, straighten both legs, come into a wide fold. Heels are out, toes are in, come down. In any version of this wide fold, you can hold your big toes like me, you can hold your ankles, you can keep hands to the ground. Move right and left, yoga moves your arms. Inhale, release, come up halfway, and then we'll come around into our lunge again, walk forward, left foot, or no, right foot is forward, left leg is back, so we're low, we'll bring right foot to left plank, hold, hold plank, go to child's pose, or push-ups, knees up or down, five push-ups, one, two, three, four, five, and all the way down. <sighs> Point the toes. Again, hands under shoulders. Roll the shoulders onto the back. We use our hands this time. Inhale, lift. Cobra, heart is forward, chin lifts. Exhale, lower down, back to the ground. Rest a moment. We're going to go into Cobra again. Your next inhalation, push into your hands, peel up, and come into a deep edge of Cobra. So take a few breaths to find your edge with it. King Cobra, maybe it's Chaturanga, and then we'll hold and stay right where we are, right where you are. Maybe you begin to deepen or change the posture as you hold to, ex to experience more sensation. Couple more breaths on that edge. Exhale, release, come down, slow, slow, slow. Belly, chest, head, stack the hands one on top of the other. Rest your forehead on your hands. Let the heels fall out, open to the sides. Soften your body like you're melting down into the earth. Feel the sensations through the back body. Good. Let's transition into a child's pose. We'll bring our hands under our shoulders, push into hands and knees as the hips lift, and then scoot the knees forward so you can sit down, hips to heels, chest on thighs. You can bring the hands back again, stacking one on top of the other. 
Press forehead on hands or forehead on the ground, hands by the feet. And you're holding still that energy of melting, dissolving, opening, surrender, washing away, whatever wants to go. We'll take our arms, bring them forward again. Inhale, up onto hands and knees. Tuck under the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg will float it up in the air behind us, lifting it slowly. Turn open to the right, point the right toes. Keep the right leg straight. Open your legs like scissors. And then bend the right knee. Look under your left arm, see right foot, knee lifts. And we'll square our hips and shoulders, straighten the right leg for a moment, push through the right heel. So hips and shoulders are squared, right heel is flexed, and then lift in the left leg, little pulses up and down. Hold right leg up. And then we'll point the right toes, exhale, bend the right knee, knee towards your nose or your forehead, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, step, right foot down between the hands. Stay low in your lunge, but float the arms, push through the left heel, palms are down. Inhale, we rise up. Good, perfect, you guys. And then our hands, we're going to make fists with our hands, squeezing fingers into your palms. And exhale, elbows by your sides. We inhale, lift the arms up. So it looks like this. Up and down, building some fire, some Shakti fire heat. Inhale up, exhale, down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up. Interlace the fingers, palms to the sky. Exhale, left heel to the ground. Turn and open to the left. And then release. Hands down. Both hands inside of the left or the right foot over there to the left. You're low. Good. And then right elbow comes to the right thigh, left hand to left hip. We open into side angle, press left hip back. The left shoulder begins to roll back. Left fingers, drag them along the left outer edge of the body, ribs, armpit, face, chin to extend the arm, left arm over the head, and your variation of side angle. Elbow to thigh, hand to ground, or block, bind, many, many different ways to do it. Make a choice, be confident with it, be there. Left arm, inhale it up, reach it back, begin to lift all the way up through warrior two. You're in a position now like triangle with the arms up, torso lifted, reverse triangle, left hand down the outer left leg, right arm goes up and over. Inhale, come up. Through warrior two, bend the front knee. Gaze forward, pause. Exhale, 
Exhale, cartwheel, hands to ground. Lift left heel, back heel, right foot. Inhale it up and back, up in the air. Three-legged dog. If you want to flip over, flip over. Right foot over to the left into wild thing or child's pose or just hold your down dog. came around into your wild thing let's come back to three-legged dog inhale one-legged plank left foot on the ground right foot is floating lower down cobra or upper dog downward dog two breaths Inhale, left leg up, turn and open to the left, point the left toes, keep the left leg straight. You might even lift the right heel. And then we bend the left knee, turn and look under the right arm. Square hips and shoulders, flex the left foot, pulse up with a straight left leg. Feeling this through your glutes, the back of the leg, maybe the hamstring. And then point our toes, left toes, bend the left knee, core plank, hold. Step the foot down between your hands, good. Engage core, hold. Torso low, float the hands, palms down, delta wings with the arms. Inhale, rise up. Good. And same motion with the arms, making fists and bending elbows as you exhale down. <laughs> Clearing, cleansing. Releasing, throwing whatever you want into this fire. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, up, straighten the, straighten the legs, interlace the fingers. Bend still into the front knee, back heel is down, arms are up, and then exhale, fold down. Inside of the left foot, fold over to the right. Left elbow to left thigh, right hand to the right hip, prepping for side angle. Drag your right fingers along the right side of the body all the way out and up to extend. Keep pushing elbow into thigh or hand to ground or bind the arms, your choice. And we'll inhale, rise up, lift the arm, straighten the front leg, holding like triangle. Then we go back, right hand down the outer right leg, left arm out and up, hold. Inhale up through warrior two, bend the front knee, holding, breath, strength, clarity, vision, integrity, insight, devotion.
exhale, hands cartwheel down to the ground. Right heel lifts, left leg comes out and up and back, three-legged dog. And flip if you'd like. Or child's pose. Shavasana, downward dog, or anything else. Let's release back around. Left leg lifts out and up. Inhale, one legged plank. Lower. Upward dog or cobra hold. Child's pose, drop in. Knees can be together or knees wide. Slow release yourself into it. Holding child's pose and recentering, recentering with your intention, with your heart, your breath, your body. Body, mind, heart, breath is the gateway when your soul, your spirit come into form, the truth of who you are. Breath. Body, mind, heart clears the way. Let's inhale to our hands and knees again. Step under, downward dog. A couple more flows up here before we come down for a bit more. Let's inhale, right leg up. Lift the left heel, turn and open to the right, like we like to do. Point the toes. Square the hips and shoulders. Bend the right knee, come forward, core plank, shoulders over wrist. Round in. How close can you get your face to your knee? Step the right foot it down between the hands. We're here in our low lunge again. Hands are floating back. Palms are down. Can you launch into warrior three? The left knee bends. Hop into the right leg, straighten it, then begin to fold. Left leg, straight, little toe down, push through the left heel. Let's all bring our hands out from delta wings to our heart. Right hands to the heart, left hand on top of right. Breath. Feel your heartbeat and take that heartbeat from your hands as you release your hands to the earth. Left knee, bend it, bring left foot in front of the right. Right foot is behind the left. Then fold, sciatic stretch. Fold over both legs. Stay low and walk yourself over to the right as your legs are crossed, shins are crossed. And then walk yourself over to the left. And notice how that changes the sensations in the body. Turn forward again. Inhale, look up halfway. Anchor into your left foot if possible. We're going to free up the right leg and come into half moon with left foot on the ground, right foot up. So I'm releasing my right foot that's in back, lifting it up and then turning and opening to the right, right hand to right hip. Right arm can lift as well if you'd like. Bend, if you want, the uh, right knee and take hold of right foot with right hand. Any variation. 
rotation, half moon. They call this one full moon. Then you hold your foot. Release. Hands down. My right toes are going to touch down. I'm a little angled to the right of my mat, so you'll sweep your left foot back to the left. See if you can find center. Plank. Great. And then lower. Upward dog or cobra. Downward dog. And left leg up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Core plank, tuck in, round, round, round. Left foot down between the hands. Oh, your low lunge. Float the arms, palms are down. Engage the core, bend the right knee, and launch up warrior three. Push the right heel. Right little toe down, long in the neck. This time, left hands to the heart and right hands on top of the left, holding. On that precipice again, right on the edge, coming into a new era, a new dawn, a new day. Exhale, release, down hands to the earth, planting your seeds of intention. A new beginning, lift the right leg, and then bend the right knee as you swing it in front of the left, left leg, or right leg in front of the left, and fold, sciatic stretch down. <sighs> Walk over to the left as you're low. You can't go that far, at least I can't. I go as far as I can. Keep folding. And then walk over to the right. Hands over to the right. Turn, twist, feel. Yeah. We'll turn forward. Good, and then we prep for half moon on this side. Of course, your hands can go to a block if you want. You're standing in the right leg, so your left leg is back there behind you. And then you lift it up and back. Lean into the right hand, left hand to left hip, and turn and open to the left. The slower you go, the easier it is to keep your balance. You want to hold left ankle, left foot with your hands, you can. Exhale, release, left leg comes down to the ground, left hand to the ground, right foot, step it out to the right and back, come into plank, crawl into it. <sighs> awesome. Good. Knees down. Our friend, the child's pose again. Sink down. <sighs> Good. this point in your practice, if you want to headstand, if you want a shoulder stand, wheel, bridge, bow perhaps, lying on your belly, anything else that you want, you can do. So take a moment, where does your body want to go right now? right here. I kind of feel like I want to do a headstand. So for those of you that are into headstand, you can journey with me. 
could also just go to the wall or the couch and put legs up the wall or the couch. Headstand, if you're up for it. If you have a headstand in your practice and you know it, you can just go there. Or again, shoulder stand or any other posture flow for your finishing sequence. I'm gonna bring my elbows to the ground. Wrap elbows around fingers. No, wrap fingers around elbows. Release my fingers, interlace them, point with my pinky finger. Head down, crown of my head to the mat, back of my head inside the wrists. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees. You walk up, 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 feet towards you. One knee into the chest, second knee into the chest, and then straighten legs up. Coming down when you feel complete, or gravity tells you you're complete. Rest in a child's pose if you went upside down. wherever you are in your practice, your physical practice, find a natural completion so that you can come to seated. We'll practice some pranayama together. Hmm. Alternate nostril breathing, taking all the energy through our asana practice that we brought to the surface and released and freed up all the energy of 2020 on one hand and 2021 on the other hand, right and left, the polarities, the opposites, the yin and the yang, the feminine and masculine. We're going to bring them into balance along our central channel, along our shishumna. The right hands we bring into our Vishnu Mudra, where the pointer finger and middle finger come to the palm. Thumb, ring finger, pinky finger are up. Thumb to the right nostril. Exhale, left nostril. Inhale, left nostril. Ring finger to the left nostril. When we hold the breath in as we pinch the nose, close. Release the thumb and exhale right. Inhale right. Hold the nose closed. Retain the breath. Release the ring finger, exhale left nostril. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right, inhale right, hold. When you hold, draw your awareness to the third eye, to the center of the forehead. Bring the energy in and up. Hold the mula bandha, the root lock. Exhale left. Keep the root lock held. Inhale left, hold, third eye. Exhale right, inhale right, hold, exhale left, inhale left, hold, exhale left. 
exhale right keep going back and forth you'll find your rhythm inhale the same nostril you exhaled when you're holding it's about an eight count lula banda root lock is engaged inner focus pulls up to the third eye keep going side to side Next time you exhale, left nostril. Bring your hand back to your lap. Drop the right hand down. Keep the eyes closed. Imagine the breath at a distance beginning and you're breathing through both nostrils together and the breath meets at a point, the tip of a triangle at the third eye. You exhale from the third eye out both nostrils. And then inhale back in. As you keep attention at the third eye, the Ajna Chakra, the root lock, Mula Bandha engaged. As you sit here in this meditative practice focused on the third eye, you're clearing your lens like your windshield of this spaceship, this human suit. So that as you move forward into this new time, you have as much clarity as possible. You're seeing clearly. You're opening to intuition. Intuition's that which hasn't taken form yet. You're open to what wants to be birthed, what is true. You can imagine even as if you're just breathing out of the eyebrow center. Focusing purely on this moment. Don't jump forward, don't project ahead. Though you might be receiving downloads or insights, just let them come without getting caught in the story. Stay the course, stay focused. Releasing as you exhale, releasing your focus from the third eye and allow yourself to shift around to your back. You can stay in seated meditation if you'd like or come down into Shavasana if you haven't yet already. As you 
prepare yourself to relax more fully. If you want something to keep the body warm, a blanket or sweater, socks. your body an extra layer or two. Lying on the back, wiggle the shoulders down your back, separate the feet, let the hands rest palm up. Good, take a breath in through the nose, out the mouth, the breath out the mouth releases any doing, any doing, turning inward to stillness, to presence again. Feel the body. What sensations do you notice right now? Streaming, pulsing, tingling, warmth. Being aware of the whole body at once, crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Seeing in your mind's eye your light body, lines of energy that are made of light or a form like fascia, made of light, translucent, bright, clear light. blanket of light, feel it release on the whole body, through the whole body. Guiding more intently into a space of, space of release. Feeling warm, Warm prana come up into the soles of the feet and spread through your arches, the tops of the feet and toes. Allow the feet to relax. Weighted feet, heavy. Lifting energy through the ankles and shins, calves, knees, thighs. Legs feel weighted and heavy, dense. Light energy lifts to the bowl of the pelvis, the abdomen. The abdomen softens all the way the muscles release through the low back, wrapping around through the upper abdomen and ribs, the chest and mid back, the heart, the upper back, into the collarbones, the whole torso open, spacious dense like a stone, a boulder, sinking. Shifting to the hands, palms are open. Feel each finger the backs of the hands. Any gripping or holding in the hands releases. And inner 
energy flows up the arms, wrists, forearms, elbows, upper arms, into the shoulders, weighted arms, drawing downward. She completes the circuit from the tip of the tailbone up the spine into the skull, the head is weighted, jaw relaxes, tongue, lips, cheeks, nose, eyes, forehead, ears, hair and scalp, brain, the whole body is relaxed, all the weight and the heaviness in the body shifts to light, Floating like steam that disappears into the air, allowing the self, the physical form of the body, to merge into the boundless, the infinite interior space. Aware again of your witness, the part of you that is aware that you are aware. Like the sensor of the infinity where opposites become one, resting in stillness center point. Life continues to ebb and flow and flux and fade. And you're at the eye of the storm, perfectly still. Releasing even more, inward and outward, spacious abundance in this present moment. lightness, the freedom, the brilliance, the radiance inside. A deep connection internally, body, mind, heart, breath aligned, and spirit, soul lands into form. As you connect again to your breath and that light body, your light body, imagine it feeling it slipping inside under your skin, through the pores of the skin, into your field. This is you. Once 
welcome yourself home. Feel at home on this earth in this moment. You belong here. We're happy that you're here with us. Conscious breath. you start to move toes and fingers, ankles and wrists, move the tongue in your mouth across the teeth and the lips, swallow, begin to move arms, legs, head, spine, as you move, you're moving from corpse pose into fetal position. From what was, what you're leaving behind, what's no longer here, what no longer has life, into a new possibility, into new beginnings. So much potential and creative life force. Hold on to your side and rest there in that space of newness, fresh. And we'll come up to seated. If you can, you do that with your eyes closed so you can stay inward. We come up again. And now notice your body and what you feel and how we feel physically. And we notice our mood, if our emotions have shifted from the beginning, what we brought to our mat. What are we leaving with now? Feeling a sense of joy, lightness, gratitude in the heart. Joy for our practice, joy for yoga, the technology to reground and recenter and clear. So grateful for the practice. Peace in the mind, clear vision, grounded open body. Wherever you are, my sweet friends, We'll close with an ohm together, connecting our ohms from our different places into one singular beam that then expands out and encompass the whole globe, all of us together. Let's inhale. at the heart, bowing, Haryom Shanti, 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 peace, 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 Namaste. Namaste, Namaste, my friends. Thank you for practicing with me. It's such a treat, even across the Zoom sphere. <laughs>